Hey, so, um, I just did a video showing you how to get this look, um, how to get these really bouncy, um, curls, um, using a Remington clipless curling wand, I think, like I said, I think this is the half inch one, so, um, this is what the finished curls look like, um, and I did recurl, um, this front curl, because, um, it kind of came out, and one thing that you probably didn't know about my hair, and that you probably don't care to know, um, <laughs> is that my hair does not hold a curl, so probably, like, for 10 minutes from now, my hair is going to be, like, probably going to be completely straight again, um, my hair is, like, stick straight, I'm telling you, stick straight, so, um, I curled my hair, like I said, with my clipless curling wand on, um, like, in between 20 and 15, or 15 and 20 or whatever, and then I sprayed just a teensy bit of the Aussie Awesome Volume Spray Gel, and it's cool how they spelled awesome. So, yeah. Alright, so now we're going to move on to part two. Um, I know there's not, um, a lot to do after this, but, um, I was just going to say, um, what I normally do is I normally just brush them out just a little bit to give it more of a bouncy touch. Um, and you brush them out just a little bit. And I... And it gets them a little bit bouncier and a little bit looser. If you don't want them this tight. Um, I personally kind of like them this tight, but I'm brushing, I'm brushing them out for you guys. You guys are like this. So. I just brush them out a little bit and this is what they look like now. This is what the tips of them look like. I really like this curl here. But if you didn't see part one, this is how I curled them. I just, I'm just going to take a section. Um, I just took a section of hair and wrapped it around there. Oh, hold on. Okay. Sorry. Just took a section, put it on there, wrapped it around. Left it on there, and I actually, after I um stopped filming, I actually held it on there for 15 seconds because um, it made it um looser, not looser. Um, it made it more bouncy and curly. So I just held it on for 15 seconds, and it's probably already been talking for 15 seconds. So and then I just let it go, and then it came out with this super curly curl. That's the curl that just now came out. And I really, really, really like the curls that um, this curling wand gives it. I'm just going to curl one more piece. Wow. You're watching this. Just to show you. I'm just going to hold it on there for 15 seconds. Let it go. And look, you guys. Okay. Look how dramatic. 
dramatic and bouncy that curl is. I mean, how can you not love curls like that? So, and I really, really, really like this. And an optional step, I actually don't know if Bobby Pins working right now. An optional step is when you're done, take a, um, a little half inch section of hair, kind of brush it out a little bit to give it more loose touch, and split it into two sections, and just start twisting those sections around each other. Just like this. And then when you're done twisting, just um, take the bobby pin. I don't um, actually have one right now with me, but just take the bobby pin and secure it um, on the back of your head. So it'll just look like that. And I think that gives it a really um, cute, girly touch. Um, and totally off subject. So, yeah. And I'm just going to show you one more time the kind of curl that it gives it. This is the curl that kind of came out when I brushed them out. This is the kind of curl that it gives it. Just that really loose kind of bouncy curl. So that is the end. I think I'll do one more because they're so fun. I think it's so fun, like wrapping your head around the barrel. Beautiful fun. So yeah, um, after this curl, I'm gonna go now. But you know, whatever. They're probably tired of me showing you um, the curl that it gives it. But just one more. Um, Alright. I think we curly right. Okay. Um, just so you can see that. Oh my gosh, hair go away. So let's curl the bouncy. And I should end the one. So this is just, these are just the finished curls. Yeah! I really hope you guys enjoyed this.